All right, what's going on, everybody? So I got a chance to check out Freelance, a movie that I was not really looking forward to. However, my dad wanted to go and see this movie. And there's this old saying that I really love to say. Sometimes you just got to do the things you hate for the people you love. And so in Freelance, you have an ex-special force operative who takes a job to provide security for a journalist as she interviews a dictator. However, there is a military coup that breaks out in the middle of the interview, and they are forced to escape into the jungle where they must survive. This film is directed by Pierre Morel, who directed the utterly fantastic Taken film. And then you also have Jacob Lentz, who is the writer of this film, who basically just wrote for Jimmy Kimmel. This is the first time that he's ever written a film. And it stars Alison Brie, Alice Eve, John Cena, and Juan Pablo Raba. I was going to do a double feature with this movie uh, on Thursday, I think. I was going to do a double feature with Five Nights at Freddy's and this film. However... When I looked at the Rotten Tomato scores for this movie, they were not up. And as of this recording, it has a wonderful, uh, surprising score of 0%. Now, it has been a while since I've seen a big budgeted film get that Rotten Tomato score. And boy, did this movie surprise me. I'm still debating whether or not I would rewatch this film or I would rewatch watch X-Men Bulls because they're both awful, but just in different ways. Expand Four Bulls uh, is awful in the sense that it's the worst action film that I've seen in a really long time. And Freelance is the worst romantic comedy film that I've seen in a while because there is no comedy. There is no romance in this movie, even though they try to build up some kind of romance between John Cena and Alison Brie. And the chemistry is just not there. John Cena had a trouble past. Uh, his compound was shot down on a mission trying to take down this dictator. He's having troubles at home with his beautiful wife, Alice Eve, who is absolutely wonderful to look at. He is a lawyer, gone marine, gone back to lawyer. So you have all those things in here that you're supposed to care for this character. I just don't. And then you have Alison Brie, who is this really top-notch reporter who has been trying to land this interview for a while. And then she finally gets it. However, once the dictator is getting shot down, she's like, hey, you know what? This is a military coup. I'm going to try to get the best of it because this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime interview, once-in-a-lifetime once opportunity. And the humor in this movie is absolutely non-existent. This is the worst film that I've seen be written in forever. Because even though I'm not the biggest fan of the Fifty Shades of Grey movies, this movie makes those movies look like the godfather of writing. The dialogue is garbage. Uh, it felt it definitely does feel like it was written by somebody that has never written a film before or knows how to write comedy, which is surprising because this is the guy that wrote for Jimmy Kimmel. I believe he wrote for Jimmy Kimmel. At least that's what I saw. And then you also have the director of Taken, which, you know, should automatically be a lot of fun. But the last movie that I saw from him was The Gunman, and I don't remember jack shit about that movie. Plus, you also have a wannabe Lost City, the rundown type of movie, and it just does not work on those levels at all. The only person that really has a lot of fun with this movie is Juan Pablo Raba. Because he knows what kind of movie he's in. And he just absolutely takes that material and says, you know what? If I feel like I'm going to be in an awful movie, I'm just going to have fun with it. Even when it comes down to the end credits where they have the blooper reels of Alison Brie, John Cena in a scene. It feels like they're being held at gunpoint to make something funny. And it just comes down as awkward. Because usually when you have those blooper reels, they you can definitely tell that um, you, they, they are having fun. But they just look like they are being held at gunpoint. And everybody is just trying to take this movie as seriously as they possibly can. When it could have been a schlocky, straight-to-DVD type of movie. But even then, that would still be offensive. The only time that I was having fun with this movie was just laughing at all the awful dialogue because it is just pure awful. There's nobody to really root for. You don't really care about John Cena or his past life. It's one of those films that you want to see on death row just so it can remind you of how bad life is. That is the best way that I can put this movie. 
But those are my thoughts on Freelance. Are you guys planning on checking this film out? I'm pretty sure nobody uh, really plans on checking this film out until, unless you're one of those people that stuck around the Mystery Monday and uh, actually did watch it. But if you did see it, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments below. I would really love to hear what you guys think of it and if you really enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys on the next review.